Hey all, it's Gino from Pleasant Podcasts, and today we're gonna to talk about a microphone technique that can help your podcast sound better. Welcome to day 28 of my 30-day podcast quick tip series. For each day of this month, I am releasing a new podcast tip in a video that's roughly five minutes in length to help you learn the basics of podcasting fast and to get your show sounding great. Head on over to my channel for a playlist of all 30 tips. So today I want to show you a microphone technique that can be used to help your podcast sound a little bit better. It's called the proximity effect. I'm sure everybody's heard a movie trailer where the narrator's voice sounds really big and boomy. Well, this is an example of the proximity effect. Part of it is the narrator's voice, but part of it is also microphone technique. The proximity effect is an interesting thing that happens when you use microphones, and it states that the closer that you get to them, the more bass response you will have in your voice. Meaning that if you're really close to your microphone, your voice is going to sound thicker and have more low end frequencies. It's the way the microphones are designed, but this technique can help a podcaster's voice sound better. This big boomy voice sounds better than a thin frail voice on a podcast or an audio recording. Another example of the proximity effect is a radio DJ's voice. So I'm going to pull up my microphone here and we're going to do a real test of what the proximity effect sounds like. All right, so I got my microphone here pulled up and I wanna show you an example of the proximity effect. And there's no better way to explain what I'm talking about than to show you. So I have my microphone pulled up here. It's an MXL 990 condenser microphone. I got my pop filter hooked up and I got it on my boom arm mic stand. So I'm just gonna run through a couple of phrases and hopefully you can hear the difference for yourself. So if I talk back here, you can hear that my voice is gonna be a little bit thinner then if I talk closely up here, let, let me say a phrase like coming soon to a theater near you, coming soon to a theater near you, coming soon to a theater near you, coming soon to a theater near you. So you can tell that when I'm closer to the microphone, I get a thicker sound and it's going to sound better on your podcast if you're way up here than if you're way back here. Because when you're back here, it doesn't sound as thick and full as it does when you're up close to the microphone. So I hope this was enough of a test to explain to you what the proximity effect does to affect the sound of your voice. Before you get out of here, I've got a special offer for you. I want to give you my ebook, Start a Podcast from Scratch, for the insane deal of only $9. It normally sells for $39 on my website, but since you made it to the end of this video, I can tell you're serious about getting your podcast started, and I want to help. In this 34 page ebook, I walk you through every step of the way, from coming up with a title for your show to uploading your first episode. And it's filled with tips, tricks, and links to help ease your podcast learning curve. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching and happy podcasting.